कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियर्स ऑल द कैंडिडेट्स वो ज्वाइनिंग मी लाइव जिस क्विकली कन्फर्म यू प्रेजेंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड टेल मी whether my audio visual quality everything is clear so that we can start with the session before we start the session let me just tell you what is the ideal duration and what is the agenda for today's session the ideal duration for today's session is going to be approximately 45 minutes and in this session we are trying to understand that how you can score 75 plus marks in gate 2023 electrical This session is going to be important for other engineering streams students also because I have included some general points also and those general points are applicable for any student any aspirant who is preparing for gate 2023 or any other competitive examination so all the candidates who are joining me live just quickly hit the like button and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of the important updates and subscribe to by use exam prep if you have not subscribed till now so let's start our discussion some of you may be joining me for the first time so there is a brief introduction about myself my name is ashutosh as you can see on the screen i have 11 plus years of teaching experience completed mtech from itbh in 2010 i have written couple of books and these are my areas of expertise that is power system electrical machines electromagnetic field theory material science and engineering ethics i also deal with current affairs also Before we start the session, some important information I want to share with all the students. Bajus exam prep is launching 500 plus important questions, and it is going to be something like a like a live workbook. When the examination is very near, what is your agenda? Your agenda is that already you have covered uh, most of the theoretical portion, and you want to practice good quality questions so that you can gear up for the final examination. And this is what. this particular series is going to aim this is going to have an experience of that you are solving a live uh, gate workbook and this will be available for all the engineering branches civil electrical mechanical electronics and computer science instrumentation and it is going to be starting from 25th of august and the name of this series is gate champion series so if you have not started following this series start following this series it is going to be very very impactful for your examination let me just uh, chart down what are the important areas i am going to cover in this particular session the first thing i am going to discuss is belief to conviction first you have to have a belief that you can achieve these very marks in the gate examination most of the candidates they don't have this much courage they don't have this belief in their mind that yes they can also get 75 plus marks in the gate examination once you have the belief you work for it you plan things you execute those plans then very easily you can achieve this the second thing is planning planning is one of the most important part of your preparation because if you plan in the right direction then that plan is going to give you results but if you are going to plan in the wrong direction then the same plan is not going to give you result and it is going to uh, put you in a wrong direction so that you become far and far from your final destiny then we have revision revision is a very important part of your preparation because if you don't revise then what you are reading is very difficult to be finally you can say translated or culminated into the final marks in the examination you may be having this gut feeling that i have read this particular topic but when you sit in the real examination situation you face the questions then you are not able to solve it why because you have not done proper revision so revision is also very very important then we will talk about result oriented approach last 3 4 months the next 3 4 months are going to be very crucial and you should always be in the exam oriented mode you should never allow any situation to take priority over your career or preparation your preparation and your career has to be your first priority mr uh, ritik kumar how are you welcome to the session he is asking gate maha marathon for 2022 is you know for the concepts that also you can join see every time uh, when we are coming with the series we are coming up with the new questions we are coming up with some more uh, energy 
so definitely you can follow the previous series also but if you attend uh, the live courses that will be much better for your preparation okay because you can directly ask your doubts directly to the faculty so that will be more interactive and that will be more beneficial for your preparation is it clear everybody then i will be talking about capacity building capacity building is one important area in your preparation where most of the students lag if you ask any common student any average student today that what are your weaknesses then he may not be knowing that and if at all they are knowing uh, he is knowing that you ask them 15 days 20 days one month later on the same weaknesses are going to be carried by that student why because he is not working on those weaknesses so until and unless you work upon your weaknesses it is not possible to get the capacity building and if you don't have the capacity building my friend it is very difficult to achieve good rank in the gate examination and believe me gate is an examination where you have to prioritize before appearing in the examination you have to choose you want to go for the higher studies or you want to go for the jobs because these are two different areas through the same examination because if you simply want to get a job then within 100 150 or 200 you should be lying with the all india rank your all india rank should be within 100 to 200 it means within 100 also within 150 also 200 also there are some psus who allow up to 200 also rank but the safer limit is 100 to 150 from rank 1 to rank 100 and rank 150 if your rank is there then there are high chances high possibility that you will be landing up with some good job in your hand after the examination but if your aim is higher studies then up to 1000 rank also you may get various opportunities so you have to decide if you simply want to go for job then you have to prepare for this examination at a certain different level okay so capacity building is very very important it is not that some someone is born genius nobody is born genius everybody has to make effort if i have to go from ground ground floor to first floor i also have to climb up 12 stairs if you have to go you have to also climb up 12 stairs there may be some person who are having a ladder now that ladder may be having 8 or 6 stairs but they also have to at least climb up 6 to 8 uh, steps it's not that directly they are jumping so everybody has to work for the capacity building if they want the results then you have to focus on effectiveness rather than good evening good evening satya everybody welcome to the session once again as uh, gear up for very important discussion we are having how to score 75 plus marks for gate 2023 especially we will be focusing upon gate uh, electrical in the later part of our discussion but the first 20 minutes around i will be uh, devoting towards the general concepts general areas where you have to improve upon and you can get little more confidence in the examination so i was talking about effectiveness effectiveness you have to focus not just the efficiency i am not saying efficiency is bad i am saying efficiency is also okay but at the same time you have to better you should better focus on effectiveness and then i will be talking about relevant topics again i am not saying important topics because important topics may be changing every year what comes in gate 2022 was important for gate 2022 and what is going to come in gate 2023 is going to be important for gate 2023 only what i mean by relevant topics i will just let you know i will just let you know what is the strategy how to approach uh, the slabbers how to deal with the topics that i will be discussing so everybody just uh, give me a give me a like button just uh, hit the like button and give me a like and just tell me whether we should start the discussion or not yes and quickly share it with your friends and colleagues so that more and more people are going to be joining this first thing you have to understand the difference between a belief and conviction belief is a very weak idea coming in your mind for example how many people are having this belief that they can actually achieve this because 75 plus marks means you are getting under 100 rank sure shot it may be within 50 also depending upon the difficulty level of the question paper but 75 plus marks means your rank is going to be uh, within uh, 50 or maximum up to 100 all india ranks so how many people are having this belief very less very less people are having this belief so the first thing you have to change in in your mind is you have to believe that yes 
I can also get it. Now what is conviction? Conviction is a very strong will. When you have the conviction of doing something, then you are not thinking about the challenges. You are thinking about how you should overcome these challenges. When you are having a belief, you are always thinking of excuses. You are always thinking of the obstacles or the challenges. I have seen many people, many students who came across and they are asking, sir, we are not able to study for more than two hours. Now, this is really a very impractical question. Have you ever asked anybody that you are eating chole bature, how many chole batures you should eat? You decide na, how many chole bature you want. When you are eating something very delicious of your choice, do you ask anybody how much I should eat? Your brain, your body should tell. And this is the same uh, principle you should apply when you study. Your body, your mind, your soul is going to tell you how much you have to sit and how much you have to study. It's simply about how much input, how much contribution you can make and accordingly you will get the result. It is not a non-linear process that you are giving X amount of input and you are getting the output as e raised to the power X. No, this is not the case. It's a linear process. How much you give as input, accordingly you will get the output. Let us see. The first thing you have to do is you have to believe. Now, most of the people are at this stage. Even if any any one of you, you are going to have this feeling that yes, we can also crack the gate examination with under 50, under 100 rank, but you are still at this stage. Your eyes are closed. You are not able to learn. You are not able to observe with your surroundings. From this level, you have to achieve this level. Are you getting this? This should be your attitude when you are preparing for such a competitive examination. GATE is one of the most prestigious examination for any engineer along with engineering services. So you should always be in this conviction mode without any confusion, without any doubt in mind whether I will be successful or not. You should give your 100% and you should try with all your efforts how you can make your performance better in the examination. That should be your intention. Everybody is okay with that? Just give me a comment and tell me whether you are able to follow this or not. Is it clear? So, are you going to fall into which category? This category or this category? How many people are going to fall in this category and this category? Okay. Right now, you are at this stage, but try to achieve this stage. Okay. Try to be more focused, more concentrated and try to give every single bit of your effort in the right direction. Then we have planning. Now, planning is a very important part of anything. Okay, we'll talk about distraction also. Don't worry, Mr. Shivam. Thank you. Listen. See, planning is one important part of any activity. When you want to achieve something, then planning is very, very important. There is an old saying that if you do not plan, okay, if you fail to plan, then you actually plan to fail. Because without planning, you cannot achieve big things in life. Suppose uh, your mother is asking you to bring 1 kg of tomato. So, do you need any planning? No, you don't need any planning. Simply randomly you will go, you will take the uh, carry bag and you will get some money from your mother and you will go to the market, you will buy the tomatoes and you will come back with a smiling face. But when you have to achieve a rank in the gate examination, my friend, you cannot achieve it without a proper planning. Please understand this. It's simply like you are driving your car or your motorcycle with your eyes closed, without any planning. That is not going to make you happen a good result in the gate examination. You are not able to make it. So if you want to make a good result next year in the gate examination, my friend, you have to have a good planning. Now, please try to understand. When you are going to plan for gate examination, some important inputs you have to keep in your mind. Number one, you have to plan for resources. Okay. When I say resources, the first thing is time. When I say resources, the first thing is time. See, knowledge, data, information, Everything is 
available free of cost also available and if you are enrolled in a particular time bound course then that is easily available but what is not available is time the most important part of your resource is time how you are going to plan your time that is very very important and these are some small small inputs which are going to create a big impact on your result you see the good rank you see the good rank in the gate examination or any other examination what do you think they are doing they are simply making these small 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 differences whatever they do and they achieve big heights in their career and the same thing you you should also try to do the first thing is you should plan your time how many months are remaining for the gate examination at least one month you should uh, leave just before the examination so you should plan always plan your studies maximum by 31st of december you should cover everything whatever you want to revise whatever you want to study whatever you want to do you must complete it till 31st of december so you first see how much time you are having what is the bandwidth and how many subjects are pending some subjects you must have covered as per my analysis this is august till august at least you should be having 5 to 6 subjects completely done how many people are in this particular situation 5 to 6 subjects at least completely done are you in this situation or not if you are not in this situation my friend it is my humble suggestion to you i am nobody to interfere in your life and career that if you are not having 5 to 6 subjects at least completed with respect to theory then my friend you better target 2024 are you getting that 2023 is not going to be easy for you even if you make lot of efforts you should make efforts but targeting 2024 not 2023 so if your 5 to 6 subjects are completely done at this point of time what you have to do these 5 to 6 subjects you have to rotate in terms of revision you have to plan it every second day every third day every fourth day or weekly whatever you want accordingly you can change the subjects and you have to rotate all these subjects in such a fashion so that you do not feel boredom and you are always on your toes and you are working for the final day just a moment how many people are able to follow this so what is the first thing you have to do you have to think in terms of time time you have to understand at least five subjects i am assuming you have done till now so these five subjects you have to rotate in next couple of weeks or days how how you want it you have to plan it okay and do not make a very complex plan it's like a uh, human psychology human psychology we are very much attracted towards doing easy things okay we are very much attracted you give me a easy task i will do it right now everybody will do it are you getting this and you give me a difficult task i ask you to wake up early in the morning yes or no suppose i ask you to wake up early in the morning at 6 and do your studies this is not going to be easy for you for most of the people it is not easy very few people can do this so what i am asking you i am asking you instead of getting up early 6 am in the morning why not you study for 2 hours in the night itself and you can sleep late in the night if you are not able to wake up early in the morning you have to find alternatives okay in hindi we call it jugad so nobody is going to ask you whether you were reading in the morning or in the evening or in the night or in the afternoon the only thing which is going to matter is whether you got the result or not are you getting this so you choose your own plan like suppose you have to recharge your mobile so there are going to be hundreds of plans but you choose your plan according to your requirements your strength your weaknesses how you want to do it and that plan will be only your plan so suppose there are some remaining subjects suppose four to five subjects are remaining you have not studied well okay and these are the subjects which you are not comfortable because of any reason but still you have to complete this labs 
for these subjects you should try to at least first focus on important areas it is not possible that you can complete every subject from cover to cover it is not possible so first you have to understand whatever subjects you have done try to get excellence in these subjects keep on trying to uh, increase your level of confidence in these particular subjects and the other subjects which you have not done always try to at least focus on minimum possible areas you have to cover so that if you are getting a direct question average question you are able to handle it it's not like a blank out okay it's not like a complete blanket that you are going in the examination three four subjects we have not touched at all you are going to the examination and you are not able to hit it no so five six subjects at least you will be having five to six subjects you will be having in your hand so that any question coming in the examination you will be always in a situation to do it with 100% of your confidence is it clear and these four five subjects at least you should be average or average plus level okay maybe nobody can be comfortable in all the subjects but at least you can bare minimum complete the theory part do basic level of questions and get some confidence so that if you are getting a direct or average question you are able to handle it <clears throat> definitely rithik you can crack it's not about cracking the gate examination it's about which rank you want okay we are focusing on this rank my dear this is the problem we are not focusing on get, getting just uh, some good rank we are talking about getting the top getting the topmost rank you are trying to get the topmost rank are you getting this is it clear mr rithik definitely you can crack but what rank you want accordingly you have to work see very less time is remaining you have to complete the subjects you have to revise them and you have to attain a level so that you are at the cream you are at the cream are you getting that so planning is first thing is you have to focus on time what is the second thing the second thing is you have to you have to plan you have to plan in terms of your notes okay this is the time you have to finalize your notes which notes are going to be your final notes okay for almost every topic for almost every topic this should not be the case when only one month is remaining in the examination after december you will be having approximately one month in the january january is going to be very crucial month for you it's not that after 31st you are searching for a particular topic you are searching okay where should i read this because maybe you are reading something you are not understanding it you are not getting the confidence to solve the questions this is the time you sit down and try to finalize your notes which notes you are going to follow either you have completed it not completed it then you do it as soon as possible but you you should have a final notes this subject this topic you have the notes you don't have to go to any other resource you don't need to search on internet you don't need to flip the books because you cannot waste your time any more already you have wasted lot of time power electronics is difficult to me sir mr ramathullah shah is saying see it's not about any subject being difficult the reason is if you are feeling any subject difficult the simple reason is you are not able to focus on that particular subject and you have not given enough time to that particular subject just start giving some time sit for some 10 15 days uh, for some portion of the subject basic level then you will be able to develop your interest and you will not feel this thing that a particular subject is difficult no subject is difficult let me tell you okay anyways so second thing is notes third thing is you should you should try to frame uh what should i say in terms of resources you should always uh frame in terms of you can say test series okay or you can say mock whatever you want test series and mock they are also going to be one important part of your planning when to give the question uh, when to give the test series when to appear for the mock how many mocks you have to give this also you need a planning because you cannot waste your time it's simply not 
because suppose you are giving a particular mock test in the sunday okay so that must get some value added in your preparation suppose you have not at all attempted a particular subject or you are very weak in that so there is no uh, substance of appearing for that mock so you have to plan your test series and mock also मिस्टर मुनवर हुसैन इज सेंग से क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस उतना नहीं कर पाता हूँ सो सो करो ना कौन मना कर रहा है इट्स अप टू यू ना वेन यू नो द प्रॉब्लम वाई यू आर नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन ऑन इट ओके जब आपको पता है कि ये समस्या है और एक चीज़ जीवन में ध्यान रखना हमारे जीवन में जो कुछ समस्याएं हैं उसको सिर्फ एक इंसान सुलझा सकता है भगवान भी नहीं सुलझा सकता हमें खुद सुलझानी है गॉड इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम ऑन अर्थ टू हेल्प यू Nobody will help you. Let me tell you very frankly, it's a practical world. You have to achieve this. The only thing as a mentor I can do is I can just show you the right direction. What is the right direction? Is start making efforts. Is start making efforts. You are thinking something. You are identifying the problem, but you are not working for the solution. That is where you feel a particular subject is difficult. That is where you feel you are lagging in the question. Who is stopping you? Is start solving thirty questions per day. Who is stopping you? Is stop eating food. You will not die, at least for one day. You can be on water or liquid. You can drink some milk or very small food. You can eat. Give all your time. Start tomorrow onwards. Today, if you want, you can do. Otherwise, tomorrow you make a target that tomorrow you are going to solve thirty questions for your choice of subject. What is the problem? You do it for next fifteen days, my friend. You will see the change. You will see the change. The room was not built in a day, my friend. You have to invest time. You have to plan. That is what I am saying. So you have to plan for your time. You have to plan for your notes, and you have to plan for your test series and mocks. Revision. Now most of the candidates. It's okay. It's okay, Manova. most most of the students how they are doing the revision most of the people they are doing revision like this yes or no don't laugh just tell me yes or no this is how most of the people are doing the revision but this is not the way you revise things revision is like suppose you have prepared a very good food yes or no suppose you are preparing a very delicious food okay but at the end of the day what matters is that food must be catered with proper arrangement on the dining table and there are people who are going to eat it then only it will be 100% proof that yes the food was delicious now the food you have prepared was delicious but it was not arranged in a proper way and somehow it is got ruined it got wasted are you getting this the same thing is happening with you you are sitting for hours and hours and you are studying but what is more important you have to arrange the food on a proper plate and you have to offer it to the examiner that is what you are not doing you are saying no 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 sir i will always be in the kitchen i will prepare the most delicious food but i will not give it to the examiner so how you are going to get the good rank you have to change this attitude you have to understand if you start something you have to do it till the finishing line if you start a race and suppose you are the most uh, you are having the best speed among all the competitors and what you are doing just before the finishing line you are standing like this no i will not do the revision so how you are going to get ai year 1 revision is the biggest difference in your preparation and toppers preparation people who have topped rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 rank 10 whatever rank the major difference has been created by revision okay are you getting this so the question is how you are going to do the revision you should be doing the revision like this all compose calm giving enough time to the concept part solving questions sitting for a proper time you don't sit watching the clock you sit you should have a different time your time frame is concept suppose you are reading something you are revising something so you should not think okay 9 o'clock i have to leave no 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 
once that concept is completely finished then only you will leave your table leave your chair are you getting this if you have this much commitment then only you think for this much marks otherwise leave it no problem are you getting that mr shark please wait please wait please wait vlsi design in iits uh see in any of the iit or isc if you want then your rank should not be more than 200 300 let me be very frank with that okay and for psus it must be up to 100 or up to 150 then result oriented now in hindi there is an old saying jangal mein mor nacha kisne dekha suraj ugega sabko dikhega when you are working in the background nobody is able to see this but when you get the success then you shine like a sun everybody will bow down so first you dance like a peacock jangal mein mor nacha kisne dekha you dance like a peacock hiding in the forest do not tell your friends i am doing this much preparation do not show your preparation level in the class i have seen some people they are coming for the class and every time they are trying to just uh, what we say they want to show that how much they know they know something this should not be the case only half knowledge is going to be having more noise and sound complete knowledge will all be always be composed so if you want to achieve this level first you dance like a peacock in the forest without any noise without anybody noticing that how you should be result oriented somebody was saying sir i am getting distraction why you are getting distraction the only reason is you are not taking your own self seriously that is the only case there is the only case there is a old song i don't know whether you have whether you listen to that song or not we remember that song or not ki until and unless you stand on your own feet the world is not going to recognize your identity so if you want to be someone if you want to be someone in your life then you can go like that but if you want to achieve if you want people to recognize your identity yourself then my friend you have to raise you have to all you have to always be result oriented nobody can distract you if you do not want it suppose i have the best of the seeds and i go to the desert marusthal and i throw those seeds give the best of the uh, what we say in uh, fertilizer everything i am giving perfect but that ground or soil is not ready for proper production what will happen the same thing is happening with you your mind is already distracted that is why you are getting distraction first you try to do a little bit of meditation try to get set uh, set priorities in your life understand the meaning of life understand where you are going what is the purpose of your life what you want to do in your life are you going in a random direction or you want to achieve something are you getting this over planning i am not saying but at least you should be very clear what you are doing what are your priorities you are not you are not a baby you are not a child you are not a kid you are a 23 24 25 year old men women whosoever boys girls so you take full control of your life and career and grow stronger not weak when you say somebody can distract you it shows a very weak personality it means you have not grown up you have not grown up you have not achieved maturity you should achieve maturity at least in terms of your career so be mature be practical and try to focus what you want out of your career then we have capacity building let me give you one example why most of the people are not able to achieve 75 plus marks or rank under 10 under 50 what is the reason what is the reason take the example of any particular sport 
suppose we are talking about this particular sport it looks like very simple you have to just run a little way and you have to jump and you can jump but actually if i put you in the real situation will you be able to achieve this no even i am not able to achieve this why because it requires a proper training a training of 5 years maybe 10 years so when you want to achieve that level in the gate examination my friend that requires a certain level of training certain level of hard work certain level of commitment conviction without doing that how you can achieve this not possible so first you undergo the hard work first you undergo the commitment conviction then only you can get it effectiveness not efficiency now it is a little bit tricky word effectiveness and efficiency they look like same but they are completely different suppose i have two machines okay suppose i have two machines one is a small size one is a big size the big size machine is more efficient than the small size machine but my requirement and my job is done by that small machine so should i go for higher efficiency or should i go for high effectiveness so effectiveness is going to give you result not the efficiency mr ravi shankar kirti saying my question like just asking sir when we grow up like we pass btech and now studying the same for some gap of years how to focus more sir like i can focus continuously for 3 hours so no problem ravi shankar if you are able to focus for 3 hours that is that is miraculous okay i can tell you you can go to the okay you can just book a world record you check it on internet is the human psychology human brain cannot focus on one thing for more than few seconds i am saying few seconds not minutes so anyhow if you have the bracket of 3 hours my friend it's phenomenal you can do wonders but you have to be little more confident maybe you are wasting your time you are having the window of 3 hours but maybe you are wasting your time you are not you are not in the examination oriented mode your studies are not that much productive just try to make your studies productive that is very very important are you getting that so that is what we are talking here also my friend see hard work only is not going to give you the results let me tell you hard work in the right direction will give you results okay that is why see what happens suppose you are going to the examination right now we are having the computer based test earlier time when i used to sit for the gate examination it was offline so how i was doing the examination just see here and how it should be done the moment i get the question paper the first thing i will do is first i will give 10 minutes to see what types of questions are there what are the areas i can crack first maybe i am best in power system maybe i am best in machines maybe i am best in control system i have some areas where i have the strength so first i will identify those areas and i will first attempt those areas as per my strength suppose the person who has made who has made this particular question paper random questions are there if is starting half an hour i am not able to solve 10 questions my whole confidence will be gone but i am very practical i know in competitive examination you are not supposed to solve all the questions you are only supposed to solve those questions which other people are solving and little more questions than that who is getting rank 2 just you solve a little more questions than him with accurately uh, with accuracy and speed that's all you will get rank 1 but it is very hypothetical to say that because how you are going to know how much rank 2 is doing so you have to give your best i hope you are understanding this always you go for the examination always before you start doing the question first you see what are the areas where you can give a better performance start your examination with those areas you will see a big difference my friend big difference you are going to see if first hour of your examination you are able to solve at least 60 70% of what you feel is your strength it will give you lot of boost up my friend lot of boost up anyways 
focusing upon effectiveness. Effectiveness is something which will give you result. Efficiency will always not give you result. Let me show you one small GIF and you will be able to correlate with it. Actually, most of you are doing like this. You are trying to fit the wrong object in the wrong place. So, how you have to do it? You have to do it little differently. You should focus on effectiveness, not the efficiency. Okay, efficiency is good for machines, not for human beings. For human beings, effectiveness is the key. How to get the work done? How to get the result? That is more important, my friend. Now, let us talk about now. Now, what I am going to discuss is going to be important for electrical engineering students only. So, let us start our discussion. If you talk about mathematics, my friends, see mathematics, every area is going to be important and I cannot give you any surety that only from those areas which I am discussing questions will be asked. But let me tell you very frankly, there are some concepts from where it is very, very high probability, very high chances that you will be getting a question. Are you getting that? For example, <coughs> matrix. Matrix algebra. Every year, almost every year, you see you are getting a question. So, this is one important relevant topic in mathematics. Eigenvalues, eigenvector. One important area from every year, almost every alternate year, you are getting the questions. So, why not just sit today itself and complete it? Already you must have done the class. If not, then already you have a lot of sessions on the same YouTube channel. You can watch them on mathematics. Calculus. Uh, maxima minima, one of the important area from where every year you are getting the question. Some relevant topics I am just discussing with you, other than that also you may get, but I am just telling you as per my experience, I hope it is going to help you. Then Fourier series, most of the people calling it Fourier actually that is the wrong pronunciation, it is Fourier. Fourier series, okay, you every alternate year you are getting the questions. Then, yes, line integral, surface integral, volume integral, Stokes theorem important, Gauss theorem important, divergence theorem. These are small, small things, small, small things. If you understand them, if you read them once, you practice some questions, you can get the confidence. Differential equations. Every year you are getting question on differential equations. So, most of the basic part, I think everybody must be comfortable with differential equation, what you are not, uh, uh, you can say comfortable, that is, uh, yes, partial differential equations, you may get a question, partial differential equations, you may get a question, that is going to be one relevant area, important area. Apart from this, you have initial and boundary value problems, that also is important. And there are some basic uh, issues that everybody must be comfortable. Then Cauchy's equation, Euler's equation, these are also important. Complex variables, if you see. See, now every year they may be asking one question from one area, one question from one area. So, you decide. If you are comfortable with that, then you can go with that. Otherwise, you can leave also. Probability and statics, one important area. Now, you understand that probability, there are high chances you will be getting the question. Okay. So, this is the area which you have to completely do it, completely do it, okay. It is already available, uh, free of cost on the same channel, you can watch the series taken by Rakesh sir, that is already available. Otherwise, if you are already enrolled in some of the time bound courses, that will also give you benefits. Let us talk about electric circuits or networks. Network elements, ideal voltage and current source, dependent uh, sources, Elements, network solution methods, KCL, KVL, no uh, node mesh analysis, network theorems. Now, network theorem is going to be one relevant area, which is a very, you can say, a topic which is related to lot many other topics. So, if you have a command over network theorem, you will be in a better situation, okay. Then we have uh, maximum power transfer theorem, transient response, yes, transient response to DC and AC. This is one important area which will not only help you in this particular subject, but various other subjects, they are going to help you, okay. Then resonance, resonance, 
टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क श्योर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन वेयर फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर गेटिंग दैट आई एम जस्ट डिस्कसिंग देन यू हैव स्टार डेल्टा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स पावर एंड पावर फैक्टर इन ए सी सर्किट दिस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सी इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज अ वेरी स्मॉल यू कैन से सब्जेक्ट एज फॉर एज इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इज कंसर्न सो दिस आई थिंक यू मस्ट डू कंप्लीटली बट स्टिल देर आर सम रेलिवेंट एरियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवरी ईयर देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी यू आर गेटिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक सर्किट सेल्फ एंड म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस ऑफ सिंपल कॉन्फ्रिगेशन ओके so mmf reluctance all these important areas you can focus upon rest of the syllabus is going to be very basic okay if you are preparing for such a big examination then you should not say that uh, what about coulomb's law if you don't know coulomb's law then it means you are not preparing at all signal and system if you see it is it looks like a very small subject the syllabus looks like a small but when you come to the question practice part it is a very big subject and it has a big impact on other subjects also okay so this subject you have to focus on all the important topics for example you have to talk about fourier series fourier transform you have to talk about z transform law tra la laplace transform so you have to completely do it no choice here electrical machines starting with the transformer now transformer voltage regulation and efficiency is going to be one important area from where there is a high possibility you will be getting a question so okay so once you cover the basics of transformer first you can focus upon voltage regulation and the frequency for three phase transformers there are high chances you will be getting questions from parallel operation and auto transformer okay dc machines in dc machines you can expect uh, you can expect questions related to the armature reaction or commutation you can get questions uh, from compensating windings and interpoles so the basic areas are going to be very important apart from that we have general areas which everybody is study and dc machine is such a topic you can understand at least 2 to 3 questions at least 2 to 3 questions you will be getting in the gate examination from dc machines and it is easy also dc machine is comparatively easy let us talk about the induction motor okay three phase induction motor so basically they are talking about torque speed characteristic there are some other areas also for example every 2 to 3 year they are asking questions from no load and block rotor test also is starting is starting of induction motor is one important area starting of induction motor starting methods is one important area from where you can expect questions is it clear everybody then coming to synchronous machines synchronous machines there is a high possibility you will be getting questions from parallel operation regulation basic structure you must cover okay you cannot leave it i am not saying that you leave all other topics i am just telling you relevant topics which you focus first because very less time is there then you can go for other topics okay so this is for machines now power system if you talk about see economic load dispatch is one area which was added very recently ec has already been discussed uh, ravi shankar i think there is a typing mistake okay electronics has already been discussed how to get 75 plus marks by some other faculty maybe rakesh sir or some other faculty i will be only focusing upon electrical engineering is it clear so i was saying economic load dispatch is one area from where there is a high possibility that almost every year you see you are getting questions so this is one important area now models and performance of transmission line i am not saying these are not relevant areas this is something very basic you have to read it you have no other choice okay then compensation one important area okay then you see bus admittance matrix that is y bus you are getting question okay and uh, power factor correction one important area then fault analysis unsymmetrical and symmetrical fault analysis symmetrical components okay then relays over current differential directional and distance protection very very important there is a high possibility you are getting questions from these four five types of relays 
Then circuit breaker, a small topic, very easily you can cover. Stability is one important area. Stability is one important relevant area from where you can get the question. Also, equal area criterion which comes under transient stability. Let us talk about control system. Control system is, I think, everybody's favorite subject. But there are some areas from where you see every year you are getting questions in the gate examination. For example, Routh Herbits. Every year you are getting question. Nyquist. Every year almost you are getting a question. Okay. Board plots. Every year almost you are getting a question. Root locus. Okay. Root locus you are getting question almost every year. Compensator. One important area. Compensator. And state space model. Important area. Rest everybody read. Rest everybody read. You first focus on these areas and get command over them, practice more and more questions. Are you getting that? Now, measurements. Measurements, uh, some important areas you can easily identify. For example, bridges are going to be one important relevant area from where questions are being asked. Then, uh, instrument transformer also. See, everybody read about this measurement of voltage, current, power and frequency. So, I am not mentioning it because it is very natural you have to read it. Okay. Digital voltmeter is one important area. Some people leave it, but you may get a question. Okay. And uh, error analysis. Error analysis. Most of the, it is a small subject, you can cover it. And the recent trend has been that less number of questions are being asked, but you never know in which year they are going to give importance to this subject also. Then we have analog and digital electronics. Some of the important uh, areas I am going to identify, just uh, go with that. Clipping, clamping, very basic and almost every year you can see you are getting questions. Rectifiers, amplifiers, biasing, equivalent circuit, these are the basic things. Operational amplifier, one relevant area. Almost every year you see the gate examination, gate question paper, you will see almost every year they are asking at least one or two questions from this operational amplifier. So, be very, very confident in this and you will get a better result, my friend. Then uh, filters are there, combinational sequential logic circuits are there, multiplexers are there, okay, Schmidt trigger one important area, sample and hold circuit, A to D and D to A converters. So, apart from the basic areas, you first focus on these important areas, it will give you better result. Then power electronics, a static volt, uh, ampere characteristic, firing gating circuits, so thyr thyristors, MOSFET, IGBT, DC to DC conversion, okay. Now, this is one important, this is one important area, bug boost and bug boost converters. There has been a recent trend, they are asking questions, okay. Then single phase and three phase configuration of uncontrolled rectifiers, voltage and current commutated thyristors. See, these are the basic things you have to study. Basic things you have to study. So, whether it is a thyristor, whether it is rectification, whether it is inverter, whether it is AC voltage controller or whether it is SMPS or chopper. Basic things you have to cover. Uh, let me give you some more input for this. Uh, See, so basically, uh, let me just write down here, okay, because if I go to highlight this, then everything I am going to highlight, that is why I am writing here. So, thyristor based, okay, converters, okay, whether it is half wave, full wave, okay, completely you have to cover each and every analysis. Then, talk about inverters. chopper and what is remaining AC voltage controllers. So, the basic part of subject you can cover then. So, this is all from my side friends. Uh, I hope uh, I have given you a little bit of clarity, but believe me the methods, the approach I have discussed with you in this particular session can give you a much, much, much difference in your result next year. 
so try to follow these approaches these methods and definitely within no time you will see the results but if you really want to achieve 75 plus marks first have a belief that it is not difficult you can also achieve it make a proper planning try to execute it as per the schedule and make a very practical planning not impractical planning okay so thank you so much take care of yourself and let us meet in the next session when we are going to discuss some more important issues related to your preparation thank you so much take care of yourself thank you thank you everybody